keeping the United States Post Office busy. That is what my viewers have been up to. Welcome to Paper and Moose. It is mail day here at the channel. I receive so many wonderful packages and yes, my apologies. I am very slow to open them. I know. I just want to make sure that each package gets the attention that it deserves because all of you lovely people that send me items, you either have collected these throughout the years and decided to let go of some things, have found some great things for free on the curb, or even have rummaged through some of the Goodwill bins and came across some real treasures. So we're going to look at those items today, see what you all have sent from across the globe, and a big thank you for all those that do send and for those whose packages I've not gotten to yet. Please, please, please be patient. More packages are right around the corner. So yes, mail day. Let's start off, let's start off with this big guy over here. This is from Cindy in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Fun to say. I won't look inside yet. There is a card. We'll look at that first. Thanks so much. Those are cute. Just a few things to thank you for sharing your love of ephemera and history with us. I first um, connected with you through some mail sent to El Piro Blues, uh, not Taco Stacks. Yes, Piro, P-I-R-G-O Blues. She is in Germany and she does some amazing things with paper. She makes a lot of junk journals, which I still have to make one. But for those of you that are interested in junk journals, then be sure to definitely check her channel out. I will put a link in the description below for her channel. Um, she finds some really neat things at her flea markets as well. Um, I got hooked on your adventures and all the things you find. You made these crazy months a joy. Oh, we used to leave in, we used to live in Richland for 27 years. Don't think we know Joe though. <laughs> it's a small village, but a big area. Yes, Joe, another frequent commenter mail sender to the channel so hello to joe too um, thank you for what you do cindy well thank you cindy for watching it is appreciated all of you that watch that share the channel that comment that like all those little things add up and i am so grateful because you have allowed me to do something that i really really enjoy so let's see what cindy has said i thought i cut this all but i did not In this box, I can save for any larger items that I may sell. Oh boy, where to begin? I guess we'll start here. Uh, we have never been to this national park. If I drove from my house in Kalamazoo to yours in New Jersey on a good day, it would still be a four hour boat ride to the island and I would still be in Michigan. There's a great story YouTube about trying to save the park. Something from the moose. So let's see what it is. Such cute tape too. That's the problem. If you go into, you know, these craft stores, you see all these cute things that you necessarily have no idea what you even need it for or what you would use it for, but you're like, eh, I'll buy it. I guess that happens with flea market items as well. All right, which way? This way. So. This is, oh, this is so cute. Isle Royale. I've never heard of this park, but this is a nice, very fallish poster. We have cardinals and we have blue jays, a whole bunch of birds, um, the little chipmunk squirrel. And there's some information below on the bottom about it, which I will have to look out. Illustrated Life. Oh my gosh, there's one with a possum. The birds are quiet now. Um, in the morning, they're a little bit loud, but not as loud as they used to be. This is a cool poster. I will have to go to YouTube and look that up. Let's see. I'm new at this myself, but thought I'd send you something to get started. I bet you I know what it is. And it is. Whoops. Where did that go? I don't think anything fell out. Oh, there it is. I felt it. 
Um, a star in her own a junk journal. So yes, moose charm. That must have been, I'll have to look where it went. So yes, for those that have no idea what a junk journal is, this is a great example. So what you do is you take, you can take, you know, an old uh, book cover. Ooh, I like that paper inside. You know, take an old book, gut it out, or even keep the pages in. And you just make your own pages. You put these all sorts of different kinds of paper in there. Neighborhood front. Speaking of, I hear him, the crow, with all these little pockets. This strongman paper. Oh, look at this. Whoops. It's a second signature. Um, all these notes can be peeled after you're ready to put your own things in. Enjoy, Cindy. So yeah, look at this great paper. So yes, this takes a lot of time. There are pockets that you put things in. Paper dyed with teal scarf um, coffee and blueberries. Never would have thought, oh, a puppy. So this is what a junk journal is. People use them just to put their own memories in, not with buffalo, or they also make them to sell them and then other people use them. But this is great. I mean, I think this is nice as it is. Oh, look at all those things. Decor for second signature, maps, national parks, date visited. Mm, you're giving me something to do now. That's really nice. Thank you so much, Cindy, for putting this together. I'm sure this has taken a lot of time. I love it. Now, like you said, I have something to try myself, a, start, a starter kit. Which is NJ Local History. Ooh, I'm liking what this is. Camp New Jersey. Um, Camp Dix, New Jersey. Camp Merritt. This is, oh my gosh. It's huge. Camp Merritt, New Jersey, United States Army Cantonment. That is great. I've never seen one like this. My arms, my arms aren't long enough. I was gonna say, I wonder what this looks like now. That's an easy fix. You just go to the interwebs. Davis Panoramic Photo Company, 1919. I have been to, um, for those that, if you're ever in the Sandy Hook area, be sure to not just go to the beach area there, but check out all of the buildings that are on Sandy Hook as well. You will be floored. That's really neat. Then she has the last things. Oh. These are all about the parks. This looks like Grand Canyon. I ha I did go there. That was many, many moons ago. I would love to go back to the Grand Canyon. It would be great just to hop in an RV or some type of vehicle and just tour the United States. You know, go see all the national parks, go to flea markets, auctions, estate sales, and just all over because every area is so different national parks each one is different that is true um, not same brands but maybe some are like the ones you found in the trash bags exactly those purple ones are great I know I still owe you all fashion show with this cooler weather now I can actually do it this will come in handy Cindy so thank you so much that is everything is greatly appreciated and I love that junk journal so now yes I have a start start of my own next up we have um, Joe speaking of Joe <laughs> I did not plan that um, our friend Joe out in uh, Michigan who always finds great things. Dear Miss Moose, yet another item that needs to come home to live with you. Your good friend Joe in Michigan. Yes, thank you, Joe. Joe somehow comes across some of the best things I've ever, I've ever seen. And usually he finds them, you know, just out in the trash, in a free pile. 
So let's see what it is. It's a postcard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fullsburg, New Jersey. If these color, if in these colors you believe, then put this emblem on your sleeve. Is that New Jersey? It has to be, yes. Oh, duh, New Jersey. I know there's another Phillipsburg, I think Kansas. This is great, Joe. Thank you so much. I, I've never seen one like this. And the postcards that I've looked at in you know, my local flea markets, I've not found a PHS one. So this will be added to my own collection and I can put this out during Thanksgiving when I bring out the Phillipsburg and Easton items for our big rivalry game. How did you come across this? It's so funny the way things make their way around the world. Well, thank you so much again, Joe. All of your finds are so appreciated. Next we have, this is from Uncle Gravy in Texas. Hi, this is some bits and bobs from a time that I sold stuff. I don't enjoy doing that anymore. I hope you dig them, Uncle Gravy. I think a lot of people that have been in this business for years and years and years, they also get tired of it as well. I was just talking to someone that, you know, they've been selling at the flea market for 25, 30 years and they just want to sleep in. I understand that. Oh, look how lovely he is. Mason, Georgia. There was a name on the back. You just can't read it anymore. He's very dapper. He almost looks like the, um, the one man from Band of Brothers. I forget his name. May 1927. She is a maid. Some type of maid. Maybe a housemaid. Here's another one. Oh, they're both there. They're friends. With big barrels behind them. Can you imagine their life? and what they did and who they were. And that's why I like pictures. And this is a lovely photo. Three men and a baby. <laughs> Those mustaches, the hair, the clothing. I would love if we dressed like this again today. Though I'm sure those outfits would be very, very expensive. So now you have to wonder, were the men just taking a photo with them and not, and not the mother or the grandmother or did something happen to the mother? Maybe that's their little sister. I'm not sure, but that's a really nice photo. So thank you so much, Uncle Gravy. I hope you and you are enjoying your time away from not selling so that you can look back on your selling years with fondness. Next, it is from, we have this from Tina out in Ohachi, Alabama. Ohachi, oh, sorry. Sorry, Tina. Please do not get mad at me. Is there a letter? I have not been to Alabama, but it's on my list. As is every state. Oh, these are pretty. Let's see if there is a note. Renee. I will show you what they are again after I open the card. Renee, love your YouTube channel. You are so entertaining. Thanks for being so down to earth. These bobbies are from Lila Rose or Lila Rose. Feel free to go on the website and see what else is there. Your hair looks so cute short. I hope you will enjoy these. God bless, Tina. These are rather cute. So we have bobbies or bobby pins, which I, I only have two in now. <laughs> These are, I really like this one. It looks very Victorian-ish. We have a nice bow, this little doodad, we'll call it, and these. These are great. These would probably look really nice with some of the outfits that I found in the trash. But yes, bobby pins are my thing. Whether my hair is short or long, I always wear bobby pins. My hair is in another weird growing out stage. Um, there are some days when I wanna just chop it and go back to short, short, but I don't think I can. So I will play around with these. I'm always experimenting, trying to find a new way to put my hair and then I get frustrated and I end up just 
how it is now but these are so nice so thank you so much Tina I'll have to go on their website and check them out and see what else they have it's always nice to play with your hair and find different styles even if you just end up going with what you know <laughs> so thank you Tina this is from Kathy out in Cedro Woolley Washington I hope everything is oh is okay out there oh my gosh well, there's no letter I've never seen one of these have you read foolish questions Yellowstone's best hey where are you going <laughs> he's on top of the geyser <laughs> silly guy I am I'm, I'm most likely will be going out to Yellowstone next summer Hopefully. This is so cool. I've never seen one of these. Oh, here's the letter. I'm glad you put one. Dear Renee, when I stumbled across this little book, who should come to mind? Paper or Moose. That's because it's about one of your heart's desires, Yellowstone. It is very much in the moment that was the 1920s and a lot of humor in it escapes me. I'm sure I'll be the same way. But the layout and illustrations are charming. Plus, it's so wee that storing it even for a few days shouldn't be much of a problem. Thank you for your enjoyable videos. I really like the stories behind the paper. Kathy in Washington State. Well, thank you, Kathy. I will be having another history behind the paper. I found something at the flea market that I think will be um, easy enough for me to research. It won't take me months. So I'm going to start working on that. How cute. The beautiful, wonderful, the beautiful wonder world to see our Yellowstone, those who go never went before, and those who went will go the more. That is true. The Devil's Playground. In collecting these bits of humor, I've tried to avoid all seriousness except in those statements specifically meant to be such. This book is an attempt to add to the enjoyment of your trip around the park by illustrating and setting forth a few of the many endless, amusing, and interesting queries. Huh. All right. People whom you should know. That's probably a fun one. Let's look at that one, number nine. Page nine. barn dogs <laughs> the rangers the men who police the park the dudes all tourists traveling either by the hotel or camps way howdy folks the gear jammers the men who drive the yellow cars that will look great on a shirt <laughs> oh i'm gonna have so much fun looking through this Song of Song, the Grand Canyon at Yellowstone. Yellowstone thoughts, thoughts. Would you go where the winds of summer lull, lull you to sleep with their cool, where a story awaits you at every turn and mystery lies in each pool, as onward they dash in their glee, where the pine trees chant hymn to the silence, then come to the westward of me. I just want to read this one more. There are geysers as old as the mountains with their volumes of water and steam, eternal and giant like fountains with rainbows their mist ever gleam. There are paint pots of every color, great canyons and high waterfalls, where nature discloses her greatness and mystery fairly appalls. <laughs> Satan operating a geyser. <laughs> oh, this is so neat. I've never seen this in all of my travels, so I cannot thank you enough, Kathy, for passing this on to me really looking forward to reading this all right last but not least we have from Judy in Tallahassee oh my Tallahassee Florida holy moly Judy pile of fun Hi, Paper Moose. Sending, sending you some ephemera. Hope you enjoy the items I'm sending you. Take care, Judy. 
Oh, wow. Oh, geez. Don't want anything to fall. Oh, Disney clubs. Magic Kingdom Club, eight eighty nine. Two day passport. Oh, this is great. Oh, look at these. The Walt Disney World ticket books. When the rides had like a separate color and ticket for the each section. So this one would get you on the, the D ticket would allow you entrance to the Tiki Room, Tom Sawyer's Island, uh, Liberty Square, the River Boats, the Skyway to Tomorrowland, Mickey Mouse Revenue, which is not there anymore, Skyway to Fantasyland, those aren't there either, the Wedway, Mission to Mars, Star Jets, Frontier Shooting Gallery, Gallery, Dumbo the Flying Elephant, my favorite ride. Oh my God, my goodness. My speech today, probably because I need to eat. <laughs> Those are great, Judy. Oh, Grease. Grease is the word. That was a great movie. Oh, they're posters. Look at him, John Travolta. Frankie Valley singing. All these great maps. You think. I mean, people today still rely on maps when they travel, and I personally will still look at a map and not just rely on my GPS because I like to know where I'm going to turn or if there's a building here, a barn there. So I, I still look at maps, but you wonder how many people still do the map. Where is this? Oh, this is um, Manhattan. So New York. Oh, Rosemary Clooney. Was she in Newsies? There's so much stuff. Oh, we have some sweet little cards. They don't make them like they used to. I, a part of me wonders when Hallmark is going to go out of business or if they would because you know they don't just have the cards but they also have all the ornament ornaments which people still collect but those are really cute Chinese zodiac not sure I wonder what my horoscope would be and more Virginia New York City oh these are neat look at these vintage stickers for Los Angeles and Hollywood uh, Boulevard. These are really cool. I really like these. These will look good on a shirt. <laughs> I've not been to Hollywood. I've been to, well, through LA when I was out there for work, driving in there, getting to the car rental place from the LA airport. Oh my gosh. Really, really cool. Well, thank you so much, Judy. I appreciate all of these. I'll have to go through the maps, maybe plan a trip. And these stickers, awesome finds. So thank you to everyone. I'm always amazed by what you send me and what you have found on your travels. It's just to know that there's so much stuff out there and what people just happen to find on a day to the flea market or they collected something and then put it away for years and then find, you know, find it again and how everything goes around. It's just, that's one part that I really enjoy about vintage and antique items is you know, the story behind them, their, their worth, not only monetary if you're reselling, but also just their history and where they've been and, you know, what they have seen. Though obviously, you know, like, a book can't see things because it doesn't have eyes, but you wonder who held it and who read it and how it got to be where it is today. Well, enough of my rambling. Thank you again to everyone. I truly, truly appreciate not only the gifts that you send, but also the time that you take to watch my videos. I cannot thank you enough. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more videos here, more mail videos, of course, and other adventures here at Paper and Moose. Hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.